but she'll be swimming back around to the front a little later. In the wild, sea lions live in the river that 15 to 20 years, but in zoos and aquariums, they've been known to live all the way up to about 30 years of age. What you're seeing right now are known as behaviors for trained responses. As our keepers work with the sea lions, they're asking for many different responses. Some of them are what we call husbandry behaviors. These are behaviors that allow our keepers to manage and examine the sea lions. As you can see, Bibi's lying down so her trainer can check her body. She's checking her for bumps or bruises or anything unusual. The keepers will also look down the sea lion's throats and at their teeth and gums, a little bit like going to the dentist. And this is also the time during our demonstration where you may see our sea lions get some eye drops. This is just some routine preventative care. All these behaviors make sure that our sea lions can be you're also seeing some natural behaviors. Natural behaviors are behaviors that sea lions do in the wild, like swimming or high dives or vocalizations. Oh, sea lions, well, there's some vocalizations and baby, that's a natural behavior known as barking. Sea lions are said to be the most vocal of the pinnipeds, and that includes the walruses, the eared seals, and the true seals. Throughout our demonstration today, our sea lions are being rewarded. If you listen carefully, you may hear the keepers say good or good girl, and our sea lions do respond to this vocal praise. They're also being fed some fish. On a normal day, they eat between 8 and 18 pounds of herring, caitlin, and squid, and we also fortify their diet with vitamins B and E. The amount of fish they get does change according to the time of year. As we move into the cooler weather, we will increase the amount of fish we give our sea lions so they can build up and maintain a thick layer of fat called blubber. This blubber is what will keep them warm in the winter time. Now sea lions are what we call eared seals, and you can tell this very easily by looking for their external ear flaps, or little pieces of skin that show us where their ears are. Eared seals are very well adapted for both life in the water and on land. When they swim, they use those large front flippers to push themselves through the water, and they use their hind flippers like a rudder to steer. Now, Bibi's doing a natural behavior known as porpoising right now. This is where she jumps out of the water slightly as she moves along. Not that big jump. <laughs> this allows a sea lion to increase her speed and uses less energy than just swimming underwater so they can go long distances this way in the wild. Sea lions can also move about very easily on land. You take a look at Stella on your left. Notice how large her flippers are. And she can also rotate her hind flippers forward so she can use all four flippers like feet. Oh. And can even support her whole body weight on her front flippers. On land, a sea lion can walk, run, or gallop very easily. And they can even reach speeds up to about 15 miles an hour in short bursts. And this is what really sets them apart from the true seal. True seals, like harbor seals, have smaller flippers and cannot rotate their hind flippers forward. So when a true seal comes out on land, they have to bounce themselves on their belly, kind of like a caterpillar. But eared seals, like sea lions and fur seals, do have a distinct advantage on land. Here at the zoo, we feed our sea lions three times a day. But in the wild, sea lions spend much of their day hunting. They're what we call opportunistic hunters. And what that means is they'll eat just about any kind of fish that comes their way. And that whistle you hear, that's being blown by Stella. And she's proving that, yes, indeed, she does have lungs. And she does breathe air. Sea lions are marine mammals. When sea lions eat their fish, they do swallow them in one piece. Their teeth are pointy in shape and just used for grasping, which makes them excellent for hunting. But unfortunately, sometimes sea lions eat water by mistake, like trash or coins, and this could be really harmful to their health. So one way that you can really help the marine mammals on our shores is by not throwing your trash on the ground, because eventually that trash may make its way into the storm drains and out to the beach, or here at the zoo, and then make its way into our exhibit. Another front flipper stand from Bibi. You can see how strong her flippers are and how good her balance is. Almost. There she goes. Another big wave from Bibi. You can all wave back. There's where she's coming at the end of the baby. The keepers will feed out that last fish. 
and show the sea lions that the meeting's over. How about a nice round of applause for our sea lions and their trainers for showing us some of their behaviors today. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to the zoo today. I hope you're all having a really good day. I want to wish you all a happy Halloween. If you have any questions about the sea lions or about our volunteer program, I'm recommending I'd be really happy to talk to you now. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have